prize pool. Well, I'm ready to go. I know these guys are ready. Prodigy, Wesley, right here. Madden 20 Premier DreamHack. Time for the kickoff. Yeah, like you said, guys, this is a guy in Wesley who came off that tough, tough loss uh, last week in the Texans Club Series. And then we got a guy in Prodigy who his club series is coming up the same week as yours is coming up, Strafen. Yeah. So he's, I think he's been preparing for Saturday Cup a little bit too. So, you know, I, I don't know if he's been entirely focused on regs, like you said, but he, he does play some regs. I know that. And, but and I bet Wesley's been prepared for this tournament too. Though. I bet he's been in the lab playing regs since he lost in yeah. Houston. So I think it's going to be a great matchup. All right, we got the Cowboys and the Seahawks. And oh, if he could have got to the outside, that would have been an incredible way to start the game. Yeah, first run right there to Zeke, and we're going to see a heavy dose of Zeke from Prodigy. And that's the reason Wesley went to the Seahawks, because they have those two secure tacklers. They have that enforcer. It's going to be about Bobby Wagner trying to uh, slow down Zeke. All right, speaking of trying to slow down Zeke, that's going to be a tough thing to do based on what we saw Marcus in uh, Guru getting down. All he needs is a little bit of area, and voila. Good run defense by... Wesley the first two plays. Oh, man, I got to get used to saying Wesley. I, I want to say Joe Rice every time. Wesley looks like he's prepared for uh, for Prodigy's uh, run offense. Yeah, big third nine already. I think Prodigy's going to stick to that pound game, that run game right here. A little eye form tight action. He's gonna, he's, he looks to do that stretch to the other side, but Wesley's prepared for it. Yep. Bobby Wake up. Oh, he got out of there. He's on his horse. And there you have it. That's a tough way to start the game. Wow. Out. If you he's he said, I'm just gonna run away from Bobby Wagner. Yeah. And then he stiff armed someone. Gone to the house. It That's really, gotta be demoralized after really a time. Bad run D. Bobby Wagner was there. Zeke was just too fast, got outside. He had that one-on-one. -on -one. He took advantage of it. I like for I wish Wesley would have clicked on to Bobby Wagner. Got one of those suction tackles. Yeah, from behind. If he clicks yeah. on, I think he makes the play, but he kind of let Bobby do the work for him, and I think it cost him. All right, and Joe Rice will be trying to tie this game up or see what he can do here, trailing 7-0. Prodigy. Is there a better way to start out that game? No, no he was in a rough spot there, the third and nine, uh, and he stuck with the run, trusted his game plan, and it paid off for him. Yeah, big run right there. It was one-on-one, -on -one, Zeke versus Blair, and Zeke took advantage. Now, see if Wesley can respond. What do you think Prodigy's going to try to do versus this, uh, this, this high-potent bunch uh, offense? I got a pretty good idea, but... We'll see. I think he's going to run a lot of coverage, mixed in some heat. He's not the type that just sends seven all the time. You're going to have to try to send seven because you cannot let a player as good as Wesley continue to just go through his progressions. Yeah, when you're playing a high-powered guy like Wesley, you really got to mix up your coverages. Comes out, mesh post first play, hits the drag route, tower lock it, spin move. Huge pickup, first down for Wesley. And Wesley looked very calm, cool, and collected there. And he had a blocker. If that receiver would have picked up that block, he might have still been running. Yeah, it was a great concept there. That mesh post with the wheel route and the double drags. And it looks like we have a little issue here, tech issue. I think Wesley need, uh, is looking to get something fixed. Uh-oh, we have a Jay Bird All-Pro in the <laughs> All right, for everybody out there again, thank you for sticking with us all weekend. We've had some great Madden games here. Uh-oh. You got to love Wesley playing a little bit of admin himself, too. <laughs> Technical help. He wears many different hats he, here. He can do it all, Rico. Yeah, I think it was a controller issue there. It looks like both players gave the thumbs up. Ready to go, and here we go. Back, back to Wesley on offense, first and 10 in that gun bunch. Prodigy has been one of the more solid players in the MCS. Not too flashy on offense, not too flashy on defense, but plays both sides of the ball really, really, really well. Yeah, Ryan, you, you pointed out to me one time, you think we have similar play styles, and I, I would agree. I think Prodigy's a very balanced. He doesn't do too much on both sides of the ball, but he knows how to win. He, he manages the clock well. 
I love the way he plays. I think it's a great style. Defensively, he reminds me of us. Yeah, How we yeah. play where we, we, set, we make everything look the same. Sometimes send six, sometimes send five, four, yeah. three with a spy. He's not the, the old school type where they're sending the dogs every single play um, and then making adjustments based on that. He's trying to use all the plays in his playbook on defense to get a stop. Second and 17. Wesley's going to have to bring out that offense if he's looking to keep can move these sticks. Goes with deep corner. He might have the post. He Good throws user. it. What a user by Prodigy. Huge pick. Oh, oh my he gosh. Has room. He goes down. He got greedy, Joe. I think wow. he may take and it see, off the, the thing quarterback. Is, if, if that's Mahomes and Tyreek, yes, that might a be a touchdown. touchdown. Exactly. I don't like, I do not like the Seattle pick. Play to your strengths. Use the Chiefs, what you're used to. And that kind of cost him on that first play. If you're Wesley, you have to be a little bit demoralized here. He gave up that big run. You're trying to get your momentum back. You're trying to stay in this game. Then you throw that pick, and now you got to deal with that. Oh! If he could have got broken. to the left, he would have broke another one. I see the man known as Ghost Madden in the chat, rooting on his boy Prodigy, part of that NFA crew. Ghost Fraba. Speaking of demoralizing, my Vikings are down 17 0. Yeah, to the Denver Broncos. To a quarterback I've never heard of. Imagine. Yeah, we can beat Zeke. Uh, we can beat Zeke and Dak on prime time. Well, we can back up quarterbacks. You guys have a lot in common, you and T. Davis. I watched him lose to a guy with a quarterback I've never heard of. Oh. At the Arizona <laughs> Club oh, Hey, too soon, man. Too, too soon. soon. That hurts. Hey, he's going to be out there in San Francisco. You harassed me when I lost to Winko for, for like three months. The, for that those affected of you our friendship, too. Remember, we gave strafing a a pro tip before his game. We said, do not throw the high ball in the end zone. That is not a red zone offense, just throwing the high ball in the end zone. What happened the first time he got down there? Yeah. Throws the high ball. Hey. <laughs> Scared money don't make money. <laughs> and again, speaking of making money, $25,000 prize pool. 11000 to the winner. 7000 runner up. 2500 to third and fourth. And fifth through eighth, we're gonna walk away with 500 bucks. Yeah, big stop right there for Wesley, forcing that punt, getting the ball back. Here we go, back to that bunch. Gonna motion over Metcalf, look for that slant. Yep. We saw yesterday so much. Yep, there it is. The crosser on the other side. You ready for it? Uh, it's such a hard play. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of pressure on you. The one thing you do have to like if you are Wesley is the fact that your offense is built to score quickly. You don't have a run-heavy offense. You're not going to matter. If you need to get some points in a hurry, you are capable of doing it. And that's why everyone loves to watch uh, Wesley. He can score quickly and often. And as you see there, he went with that mesh post play that everyone does this year when they use a streak instead of that post because you can kind of uh, get over the linebackers and get over the user and uh, make that catch. Shout out, to my, catch. shout out to my guy Jaber, just appeared in the chat, woke up after a long night of, you know, enjoying Atlanta. What a shed by DeMarcus. I forgot DeMarcus Lawrence is on the field. Great shed by Prodigy. Puts him in a weird situation, second and 15 at the 45. He's going no huddle. Notice Prodigy's using that auto flip on, so he's always ready. Yeah. I like that. That's how I play bunch defense usually with this nickel defense. Scream! Oh, what a dot by yeah. Wesley. Wow, He's nice out of there. Spin. Josh Gordon. Wow. Can he get caught? Wow. Wow. I just wow. needed to turn it up, but that was a picture perfect example of how to beat the blitz. Great read, then great move afterwards to pick up some run some yards after the catch. Terrific play by Wesley. He recognized the blitz, motioned the guy out on an in route, and hit him quickly. Here he goes with verticals. He's got nothing. He's escaping. Throws oh. it. Oh, wow. wow. A huge game. catch by Metcalf in the end zone for a touchdown. That is his vintage Joe Rice. It's first and 10. You don't got to do anything crazy. Scrambles out of the pocket. I wouldn't have thrown that. Ball. I wouldn't have thrown that. I'm going to be honest. I know you might have. <laughs> I wouldn't have thrown that, but big play for Wesley there, 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, man, that was crazy. Uh, and now Wesley can breathe. Tied the ball game up, got a little bit back of that momentum. Three minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the second quarter of this 
Elite Eight matchup. Prodigy Wesley, two of these guys locked in. Shout out to the best Madden YouTuber in the world right now, T Throne23 in the chat, Drag Racer in the chat, all the goons in the chat. Yeah. I see guys like Adjust in there, a veteran in the Madden community. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, if I wish we had a little more patience in the hole. Prodigy needs to get some points here, and he needs to manage the clock. With his offense, can he make this the last drive? Because you don't want to leave Wesley anytime. Yes. You saw how quickly he can get down that field. Don't let that lunatic get the ball back. <laughs> yeah. Power to the weak side here. One on one. Oh. Good tackle. Good Trey tackle. Flowers. Great tackle. A little tackle. early on the arm. Yeah, it was, yep. Got to be a little more patient there. Yeah, we got guys like K-Mac, Kratobin in the chat. Love the support out here at beautiful DreamHack in Atlanta. Going dive on first and ten, gets five. Now he's got the whole playbook open for him on second and six. Way to stay on schedule for Prodigy. You notice he's kind of running everything to the middle and left besides that, yeah. that house shot. I think he's staying away from uh, Wagner a little bit. Yep. Probably be the last two play minutes. before the two minute warning. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. The two minute warning approaching. Looks like Prodigy is going to try to make this the last drive of the half. Good run defense. All right, the two minute warning lets us know that that first half is. Coming down to an end, we saw that these guys were evenly matched. We thought this would be a good game going in. Prodigy got the ball to start with, I believe. Did he break that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Broke that run. So Wesley, oh, great Ooh. defense. Oh, Ooh. better offense. Ooh. Ooh. Prodigy actually needs to score here. Because Wesley getting that ball back in the second half can take control of this game. And you don't want to be behind the eight ball when you've been playing well all the way from. That's so demoralizing. You have two guys there. Perfect run defense. And Zeke does not care. I wonder why. Why does the Prodigy use linemen at tight end like we've seen from some other guys? Why does he prefer the tight ends there? I think he wants to have that threat of being able to pass. Unlike a lot of competitors we've seen at this tournament, he can drop back and pass too. Balls forward. I feel like he is actually going with the uh, five yards in a cloud of dust. He's just running into the middle, waiting for Zeke to fall forward, as opposed to trying to get to that outside and break something and use uh, all the tools that he has. Yeah, and sometimes on those outside stretch plays, you can sometimes get a big loss, which gets, gets you off schedule and you can't play like that. So like you said, Rico, I think he's trying to avoid that. Yeah, he's using the clock well here. He's still got three timeouts. Uh -oh. The outside cuts Good it God. up. Cuts it up. He might be out of there. Wow, huge run for what Prodigy. 14-7. What a cut. Great, great stick work right there. What a cut. That was great. Now the question is, 40 seconds. Is that enough time for Trump? Of course it Wait, is. For Wesley? Of that, course it that's is. That's an eternity. Yeah. And he has all of his timeouts as well. If you're Wesley, <laughs> I'm thinking how of do maybe you have that sense of urgency and not turn the ball over or force anything. I'm not the biggest fan of taking points off the board, but I maybe oh he's got three timeouts. Never mind. I was thinking maybe he's laid on at the one yard line just to get a little bit more clock running. Maybe use some timeouts because right now he's got three timeouts, 37 seconds. That's an eternity for the chicken farmer. And for those of you who do not know who Strafing is referring to, he is under the not knowledge. A, I'll just say yeah. that. Not Wesley assumption, it's a fact. Lives on a farm. He sent me pictures of goats and chickens. They look like very happy animals. He does a good job there. All right. Shout out to Skimbo. I heard he won his first game in his uh, club championship. Not Ooh. a surprise there. 14 to 7. Prodigy up. 37 seconds remaining in this first half. Wesley with the ball on the 29-yard line, first and 10. Prodigy's going back to that 1-4-6. He's switching up from that nickel normal. Looks like he's bringing that edge heat. 
Oh, Ooh. what a dot. Oh, good breakup. Got I just pulled it really. My fault. Second and ten here. Is there any chance, if you're a prodigy, that you think you might be able to get this ball back? Is there any? No. Six. No. <laughs> no. He's doing a good job keeping him in the pocket, keeping him in the pocket. Are you escaping? He had it? Anyways, circle, I thought. He's, he throws <laughs> it now. Oh, that's demoralizing. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Play good defense for the first five seconds of the play, and it doesn't matter with West. I think he had him a little earlier, too, but he waited. This was so long you can ask your secondary to hold up back there before eventually somebody's going to get open. Breach These guys are he's professionals gonna, for a reason. Breach is going to get sick of that. He's like, I'm standing seven and make him make a read instantly. But he can play that way, too, so that's what the difficult part is. Yep. Good pocket There's presence. that combo. Presence he throws the... it. Oh, my wow. God. Wow, and he comes down with it. DK Metcalf oh again. Gosh. Two risky throws by Wesley and two touchdowns to DK Metcalf. Prodigy clicked on and tried to get over there. Met him at the highest point. But great defense, even better offense. That's yeah, crazy. A little risky for me. That's two, that's two touchdowns that yeah, but are pretty fortunate. Two things that I won't throw. <laughs> but that, that's why I'm not playing right now. And that's why Wesley's one of the best. Big, big, big score right there. Huge drive. Tie this game up. 14 seconds. You got a couple timeouts. We're still getting Zeke here, are we? Yeah, definitely. Of course. And, and there's a good chance he could break one here. Be, if you're Wesley, you got to be really careful. And he calls timeout. He didn't like what he saw. Oh, uh, yes. He's tried to make with something happen. He has 14 seconds remaining. You don't want to overpress it. You don't want to do too much. Here. Yeah. Be smart. Don't get hit stick fumble by Bobby Wagner. Has Bobby Wagner been the defensive MVP of this entire uh, tournament? Probably. Yeah, you would say so. I was going to say Fletcher Cox, but I feel like all the Eagles players are, are out of the tournament by now. So. DeMar goes back to Lawrence then, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. He so, came up big for Marcus. Yeah. Yes. Great run defense Man. right there. He went left. I felt like he should have went right. Yeah. He, had a, he had a hole. He was trying to cut back against the green. But I just went against yeah, the Weston green. Weston comes out in this quarter three deep now. This just doesn't want to give up a touchdown. Okay. Ooh. Shout out to Sirius Mo, Turbo Jeff in the chat. Turbo Jeff, another underrated bad player. I really, really enjoyed his game. He is solid and... Uh, you knew you said Denver was whooping up on your Vikings. Yeah, I don't want to talk He's about it. That's Denver it. guy. <laughs> he is. I really enjoy how Turbo Jeff plays the game. I don't enjoy his rapping. <laughs> yeah, I got to follow his games out there in San Francisco, and he, Turbo Jeff is really underrated. I said that there. Not, not enough people give him credit. He, he played uh, phenomenal in that club series. But he should stick to his day job, man. <laughs> I don't know if his future is bright in the entertainment industry. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to check it out. All right. We are in the second half. 14 14. If you're Wesley. Oh, oh. oh. wow. He doesn't Risky care. Pass. Risky pass. He does not Wesley. care. He's throwing at you every time. If he thinks he can make that catch, he's not going to shy away from throwing the ball. Yeah, what a battle back and forth tie game. I like Prodigy in this nickel normal a little more than the 1 4 6. I think, I think Wesley's really good versus the 1 4 6. Yeah, he's so used to it because yeah. it's a meta defense. Looks like he's going to go back to that slant, motion slant. Oh no, he's going to go with deep attack. Same play almost. It is so tough. His route combinations. You have to pick your poison. Yes. It's so stressful to play against. You don't know what combo he's doing. Then if you got everything boxed on the on the play, then he breaks it down and gets out of the pocket. And then he really puts stress on your user right there. He had to cover a drag and another drag. Yeah, he went back to that mesh post, the streak over the middle, and creates a lot of separation for those drags. Easily can hit the drag underneath and gets a big yard, uh, big game. I think uh, Prodge is going to start getting sick of this. He's going to start sending the dogs. All right, Wesley dropping back. Good Whoa. defense. Ooh, he, had the, he had the tight end flat yeah, wide open. 
That was risky. He threaded the needle on that one. That's a tough way to make a living. But I don't think he thinks there's anything wrong with him, Baz. And he'll throw it every chance he gets in. Of course twice not. Twice on Sunday. Of course. Here we go with verticals. Oh, man. And he escapes. He threw a pick oh, last wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Nice read right there by Wesley. And Josh Gordon is such a good addition for them. For Wesley's Rick. doing a great job of recognizing when uh, Prodigy wants to bring the heat. Every time he's brought the heat, he's made a quick read, sent out three routes right there. Great execution. And uh, Wesley looks great on this drive right now. Now, last time Wesley rolled out like that, I thought he was going to try to throw that same route he threw that got picked off here. The fact that he had the wherewithal to come back across just adds such another layer of complexity. <laughs> His reason. Serious Mo says in the chat, Wesley is the best passer in Madden. Do you agree, Strafen? Best passer? Probably the most entertaining passer. Uh, but <laughs> what about that guy, Michael Skimbo? Uh, what about Kiv? Uh, what about this Ghost? Year? Well, no, no, he just said in Madden. He's the best so passer? Are we, are we talking I said, strictly we'll this year? Peer passing? I'd take Ghost. But Ghost. Yeah, Ghost is really patient. He'll take those underneath routes all game long. Breaking down? Breaking down the play? But I, escaping? I think, I think Kiv has to be in that conversation as well. I mean, that guy. Left up there. There's a lot of good I, I think, I think uh, Wes is a little too wild. Kiv's more, uh, he, he's not going to throw wild things Calculated. like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Most said Skimbo's a top 10 passer. Sheesh. Now, there's Sheesh. a difference between saying, hey, <laughs> I don't think he's number one or two. But to say top 10 <laughs> means he's 8, 9, 10, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, I know. I, I know what he meant. That's why I said sheesh. That, that's a tough one, Mo. Good run defense oh, by Prodigy. This is an awkward situation for Joe Rice to be in. Second and goal for the 14. If he holds him to here. three here, it's a super win for Prodigy. Yeah, it gets tough down here. I would, he's going to go to probably that halfback wheel. No, Atherton, you can't say easily J Wall. It's, it's such a short resume. Like. <laughs> You can't say J-Wall's a top passer in Madden. Like, you need to prove it year after year after year. That's just how it is. It's going to that verticals. Oh, what make patience the tackle there. The Great job yeah. for Wesley on that one. I want to see if Wesley goes to that fullback dive here. No, he stays in the gun bunch. Oh, my bad, uh, I'm getting aggressive in the chat. I'll take a little 30-second timeout. Fellas, and you gotta love Ooh, Toby refreshment. making sure you guys are kept. Can't have you guys up here parched hey, as you're awesome. calling out this excellent man. These these producers are doing a great job. Yeah, they've been great. So oh, far. look at that! His favorite point. Oh my Looks gosh! On. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's getting dangerous. He throws it oh touchdown, Josh Gordon. Oh my oh goodness! Oh my gosh! Da -da -da. I don't know what to say. He was dead to rights. Now, hold on. He could have clicked on that to Marcus Lawrence and made like, the tackle himself. Yeah. Yes. Just like we saw what, Marcus do, I think. No, he no, did click on. He did click on. He, he, he did? He, he clicked clicked on. get him. Yeah, he clicked on. Oh, he couldn't get him. Okay. I think I would like to have seen a dive. Yeah, yeah. I, agree. I think if he dove, he would have got him. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. What a play. I think my voice cracked on that one. It was so, yeah, so crazy. I think somehow Wesley heard that Mo was telling him he was one of the best passers, so he had to go ahead and just pull that gym out. <laughs> Here we go now. Prodigy down seven. A minute to go in the third. Huge drive here. Goes to the stretch to the right side. Nice defense by Wesley. Man, that really hurt it. Was that third down in the red zone too? Yeah, it was. He went to his favorite play, the wheel, the curl. Oh, that's gotta curl. Hurt. It's gotta Prodigy hurt. boxed it all the way to the very last second of the play. That hurts. It seemed like Prodigy had this game. He got his first seven. He got his stop. And then it seems like Wesley is taking over. Ooh! Way to hold on to that one. My guy Larry in the chat, pro NBA 2K player. Really good at Madden, too, if people don't know. Oh, that's my guy, guy. Yeah. Larry Legend. Larry Legend, baby. I'll, I'll never forget, I was actually there in New York, and we had some dinner with him before he got drafted the very first year. It was what a, a feeling. Like, what a feeling. Yeah. I was out there for the auto show. And I always make sure, if I'm in your city or if we're in the same place, I like to try to catch up with the community and, you know, Always oh, stay there. To... Great times. Great times indeed. 
Third and eight here. You think it's a run? It's got to be, huh? Strong eight. Yep, it's got to be. I don't think he's going to pass out of this. I think he's going to try to flip the formation maybe here. See what he does. Looks like Joe Rice is now using, using Bobby Wagner. I like that. And he's going to audible to that eye form tight. I would look for a stretch call. He's going to use that motion. Nope, he's just going to run to the left. He's going to get a block. He can. Bobby Wagner. Nice Ooh, tackle. What a play. Sheds the fullback, stacks and sheds him, then makes the tackle on Zeke in the open field. Bobby Wagner, 99 overall. Such a good player in real life, too. And, guys, this is the biggest play of the game right here. If you don't convert this, I mean, you're going to go down 10 probably. Oh, stretch to the right. Bobby Wagner gets the block and he stiff arm. Oh, wow, gosh. huge tackle for Wesley. And actually, I think that was Prodigy's fault. After that first one, I think he thought he was going to get more penetration in there. He came around, took another step back, which allowed them to come on up and make that stop. He needed to start running a little bit more north-south and less east-west. Yeah, now, now if you're Wesley, he's coming out on that eye form tight. He's going to chew that clock. Now, I've seen enough of Wesley's offense with the Seahawks to say it's, let's just say it's 80% of the Chiefs offense he would have had. I mean, probably, but he's, he's still making it work. Like, no, no, I'm saying, with eight, let's say it's 80% yeah. of that. The defense he has with Seattle and the stops that he's been able to make and the feeling that you have that you know you're never out of it, you can get a stop if you need to. Yeah. I, I think it's almost better to see him in Seattle than the Chiefs. Oh, Good you're, point. Yeah, yeah we're, we're wrong for the game. Like, this really, the Seahawks won them the game, their defense. When, when you say we, you mean you and Tyler, because I think I picked Wesley. Oh, he's got a point. <laughs> All right. You're right. You're right, yeah. Rico. He's going to take this field goal, go up 10. And if you're Prodigy now, you still got three timeouts. You're going to be down 10. There's time, you just have to score quickly. And with the way Prodigy plays offense, that makes it a little difficult, so you're gonna have to break a big run. 24 to 14 with two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. As T. Davis said, Prodigy is gonna need something quick here to get into the end zone, or else, uh-oh, we'll pitch. We haven't really seen Prodigy take to the air like that. And we saw Guru, when he needed to put some points up in a hurry, struggled in with that clock management. Great patience by Prodigy. Wow, oh, that's wow. what he needed. Oh, I wish he would have just stiff-armed him instead of trying to manually juke him. And we're going to bring that down to the two-minute warning. And see, for all those runners out there, that's the thing you want to do, like I was telling you, Strafen. You don't want to just hit turbo right away. You want to wait and stop. Wait his first block and got a huge run right there. Great stick work. Great tackle there. Yeah, no arm bar there. And now Wesley's in a great position right here. You want him to keep running the ball, using that clock. No big runs. He's going to kick the field goal now. Smart call here by Prodigy, honestly. You give yourself a, a chance now. Yeah. I, I like the call. I yeah, really do. I needed an onside here. No, give yourself no, two. No, 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 no. If you don't no. get it, the game's over. You can get a field goal. Yeah. No, you, you got to give yourself deep. a chance right here. And here's where I disagree. If you don't get it and you don't touch the ball before they do in the, in the zone, you can still get a stop outside of field goal range. You still comes down to the same three timeouts. You need a stop on that exact drive. He needs to stop here or else he's done. If he doesn't get to stop here, it's the same thing. Explain to me where I'm wrong on that. I'm not going to lie to you. I stopped listening. I zoned out. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Madden 20 Premier Dream Hack. Prodigy trailing 24-17. Needs a stop here on defense to give himself an opportunity to get back in this game. Wesley just needs a first down in that clock to keep on ticking. 
He's going to go back to that patented gun bunch and try to end this game. Wesley it. came here running that bunch, and he wants to go, get to the uh, final four here running that gun bunch. We'll see what he does. Prodigy in that 3-4 bear defense, which we haven't seen all game, looking to bring some heat. He's sending the hounds. He's sick of dealing with his escape in the pocket. Wesley Gittin's offense. Wesley has to make sure he makes the right read. He could throw a pick here. Oh, he, oh he's out again. Wow. Oh, he did not want to throw that ball. All right, third and three. Third and three here for Wesley. One first down, and he's moving on to the final eight. Prodigy's got to step up. Now, is there any chance Wesley throws this ball? Yes. 100%. I think he wants to run with Russell Wilson oh, again. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can see that. He doesn't want to take the chance. Tip drill. He's got... Oh, my gosh. He still escaped. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, here's my question. I got, I, got, I got a big problem with Prodigy's defensive coordinator there. Yeah. You know he wanted to go to the wide side of the field. You know he didn't want to throw it. Make him make a play to beat you. So now, let's get back to him not kicking that outside. <laughs> At least... Every time. It's worked out every time for Rico. Cause, yeah. You just have to give yourself two chances. Yeah, but he just but had, he had to be ready for a field goal. But no, no, here's the, if you don't get the, if he gets the first down, the game's over either way. No, I'm saying he, he can not get the first down and still win the game. No, that's where, it, and we, I, as long as you don't get the penalty where you touch the ball first, yeah. you can hold him and he not be able to kick I the field goal. I think you only need about a couple yards yeah. to get in the field range with the Especially Dallas with with these kickers. kickers, though, yeah. yeah. In between games, we'll practice that one time, and we'll see. All right. I disagree with you. But one thing I 